Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofinet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and uh, I wanted to start off by ending the big game hunter quest. And uh, we needed to let some time pass. I did that in the meantime and now we need to go to Count Baladal's lodgings and take part in the picnic where he should be able to show us his uh, pictures, the pictures he took during uh, our previous encounter with him. Let's see. Is this it? Ooh, looks like it is. Hello, Count Baladol. Both male and female Beauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs, yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. <coughs> okay. Ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. Uh, those are nice pictures, by the way. I'm delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. Wine or, ooh, another yeah, painting for the house. sell it, of course. Though I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. Well, we will. That's actually pretty nice, so thanks. Uh, your daughter, how's she doing? Talked to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. Kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> to get her gifts, you mean? I've dispatched two already. She'll not need to wait for my return. Ah, oh, that's good to hear. On route home, I mean to pass through Dol Blathana. They say one can see Sylvans there. Yeah, actually happened to no one. Name's Torque. He can be mean, but for the right fee, he'll do anything you ask. Splendid. I thank you for the hint. Tell him I send my regards. So another hint uh, from the books, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But, exhibition going well. Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings, too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat. And they praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp and sneeze. Not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. Just most, unfortunately. Why yeah, bother? I can believe that. I even invite them around. I'm a man of enterprise. I must put my trade before any personal hatreds or sympathies. Besides... Besides? At times, I'll exhibit a completely failed painting. Just to listen to them twist their tongues into knots, trying to find just the right superlatives to lather on smeared rubbish. Naturally, the more intense someone is to get into my good graces, the louder they praise my masterpiece. It's devilish fun, I tell you. Well, at least you have your fun in it. That's actually a pretty good way of uh, going around to do that. Check out who your real friends are. Just make a bad painting and see if anybody says something about it. But hey, farewell, uh, Count nice Baladol. You. So long now. That wasn't much, but that's uh, at least the end of the big game hunter quest. So I think there's a notice board around here as well. Yeah, over here. Let's check that out really quickly. I've seen ghosts in the Caroberto woods. Let's check that out. Guide wanted uh, for Johan Neskens. Okay, looking for a damsel in distress. <laughs> Close until further notice. Overgrown insects. The owner of the Hortense vineyard sustained serious injuries. Okay, Francois de Valère, I challenge you. Is that everything? Yeah, okay, that's everything. Nothing too much of interest, no, no new quest, so that's sad, but let's check the quest log. So our next quest is gonna be a contract called Father Knows Worst, and uh, it's about someone who needs an escort through a cave, so I'll see you guys at that cave in a minute. So yeah, it seems like this monster den, ooh, it's actually marked as a monster den, this cave is uh, pretty... Help us! Oh, yeah. Someone, please! We're here to help. Okay, that's What's only about? one. I Monsters. heard two voices. voices. Monsters there in the cave. Yeah, it's called the monster den. We managed den. to flee, but 
But Hugo remains inside. Hugo. Okay, Our brother. Then. He's still in there, inside. Interesting. Help us find him. We'll pay you for your toil. Sounds like a plan, but so there's one guy missing. Let's talk about my fee. <laughs> I could look into it, but it'll cost you. How much would you take? Um, let's start off with um let's say 380. What do you say about 380? A reasonable price. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Um You're the ones looking for someone to escort you. You post that notice about an escort? Yes, we did. And not without cause, it seems. We waited some days, yet when none answered, we risked the expedition unaccompanied. Fools we were. We'd have done better to show patience. Wait! Poor Hugo. Left to an unknown fate. Well, it's not gonna be unknown for very long. What attacked you exactly? Noticed what attacked you? There was no time! We ran for the exit as soon as we felt the earth quiver. But Hugo, well, he went the other way. So, monsters crawl out of the ground? I... Uh, I suppose... In truth, I don't know. We just ran. Did not look back. Okay, thanks for the info, the non-info that is. Why'd you go there, in there Why to begin with? In there? We... lost our way. Yeah, mm. typical. Mistake that cave for the high road. By the hair on my chinny chin chin, what difference does it make whether we went in for a stroll or together students? Hugo remains inside, in grave danger. That's what matters. Will you go in after him or not? Every second could be vital. Uh, of course we'll help, but... Fine, I'll look for him. I'm you hoping it's not a giant here. monster in there. Just a few tiny ones. Find out what happened to the missing brother. Ooh, it is dark in this place. Luckily it's lighting up wherever I go. What's this? Ooh, refined copper ore. Don't mind the missing brother, this. So... Okay. I think we still have insectoid oil from uh, the previous quest. Ooh, look at the sword glow. Ooh, I think we're poisoned. What the hell is that? Why is our bar green? There we go. Okay. Look at the sword glow. That's cool. The, the sword from the Lady of the Lake. Why am I losing health? Oh, my toxicity is through the roof for some reason. Uh, what? What happened? Uh, so let's fix that with some white honey. Zoom. There we go. Okay. That's that. Let's loot everything. Okay, and now let's take a look around. If there's anything else other than the, the Kiki Morse. Hmm. Seems like there's a sword around Fresh here. Blood and a blade. Weapon was Hugo's, maybe. Okay, Nilf Guardian Longsword, we don't really need that. There's blood over here. Good trail. Could be Hugo's wounded. And that's that's not a good sign. Let's follow that. Okay, did he climb up here wounded? That's interesting. Yeah, palm print. Palm print over Warm there. And damp. Kiki Moors prefer cooler environments. Okay. Why they keep their distance. Meaning what exactly? Damn, That's water's hot. Get burned if I don't watch it. Could use some protection. Maybe Quen'll work. Um that might do the trick. But the uh, blood trail leads over there. 
Let's, let's see, I can go to the other side as well. There seems to be loot here as well. Just gold nuggets. Okay, not much of interest. But I could use Quen and dive in. Seems like Quen is protecting me a bit. And there seems to be something here. Still filter. Something else. Trousers. And then that chest over there. And I think I'm going to have to uh, surface rather quickly now. Yeah, now it's hurting me. It's hurting me. Okay. There we go. That's pretty much everything, I presume. Oh, it seems like there's a chest over there on the left as well. Let's take this as well. Green gold diamond ring. Lots and lots of goodies. And let's get back outside and follow that blood trail over here. Okay. You go. You go. Where are you, Hugo? Oh, there's Hugo. He seems fine. You, Hugo. You're kind of fine. Me. Ja! Dizards! Scoundrels! Tartmongers! They attacked me, but I fended them off. Now! They sent a brigand to finish the job. Wait, what? Did your brothers try to kill you? What are you talking about? Ran into them outside, claimed monsters attacked. They ran, made it out, but you got stuck inside. They asked me to help you. Is that what they told you? The lying weasels. More trickery on their part, I'm certain. Whoa, slow down. What's this about? Uh, I'm Hugo Monau. My father, Victor Mona, you may have heard of. A cognac distiller he was, famed for it. Before he passed, my brothers and I would quarrel over who would inherit the family business. So father decided he would force us to work together. He broke his still down into its parts. Three of them he hid, telling each of us the location of one. When my brothers learned my part, the last was hidden in here, they decided they did not need me anymore. They decided to cut me out of the business. Literally. And that's the part we found fought. in the water. The noise must have woken the beasts. My brothers ran for the mouth, while I ran deeper in. That was a smart choice, actually. Uh, found the missing part, hmm. though. So you came here to find a piece of a still? Mean this thing? Yes! Where did you find it? Bottom in the, the pool boiling water. Spring. Really hit it well, your father. Yeah, I don't know how you guys would your have supposed to get that out of much, there. I know, but I promise you good prices. The best once the tavern is open again. Hold you to that. Now okay, let's go. Okay, but what do we do brothers about your brothers? Because if those guys are still out for your blood, might Wait, have to intervene. My brothers. They've rounded up some thugs. They mean to attack me. We don't okay. know that. I think Would we you do. Try to tell me it's a coincidence that they return with an armed band. They've come for the last part of the still. They won't kill me for it. Please, you may only hope. Kill them. Elsewise, they'll kill me. Kill your brothers? You want that? Well, perhaps not them, but. The other roughs, for certain. As to my brothers, I don't know. You couldn't perhaps render them harmless? Uh, will you defend me? Yeah, we will. I'll make sure you're not hurt, but uh, no one dies. Not today. Okay. Not about to start cutting folk down because of a family squabble about some spare bit of machinery. We're going over there, and you're going to settle this. Talk it out. But... Should they attack, you will protect me, will you not? If they attack, unprovoked. Let's go. Yeah, indeed, that seems like the wiser choice here. Just wait to see what happens. Hugo! Are you well? We were um. worried! Why do I doubt this? Listen, because why your you two brothers are liars? realized this tiff is senseless, idiotic. You might have been harmed, gravely, and that's something we could never live down. Lucian is right. 
We must bury this hatchet. Work together as father wished it. Um, so why did you bring the muscle, indeed? Hmm. Claim to come in peace. But then who are these men? Hunters, who had made camp nearby. They spotted us and asked if we had no need for their aid. You okay. and him were gone a long time. With his men to help, we thought we might come to your rescue. Okay, and what about my pay? All right, glad to see you've made up. Now I really need to get back to my own affairs. Naturally. Your payment. We thank you for your help. Should you ever find yourself near the clever clogs, you must stop in. Superb, Cognac. Some of the best. Will do. So long. So you have rivaling taverns? That's interesting. Are they now going to try and kill each other? That was resolved really, really easily. Okay, then father knows worst. Done, I assume. Um, let's see if we can do something else. I think we have a bit of time left. And we're gonna do a Knight's Tales. Uh, we need to talk to Jacob the Woodcutter. And he needs someone who isn't afraid of spells. Uh, who isn't afraid of dealing with a witch. So that sounds like us, right? A witcher? Not that the two words have uh, a relation towards each other. But hey, uh, I'll see you guys near uh, Jacob the Woodcutter. So we're passing alongside a few lumberjacks. So yeah, there we have Stay Woodcutter with Jacob with his own wolf, thing. apparently. You, Jacob? Ooh, that looks like a character model Here I haven't seen before. Down. Who asks? That's interesting. A witcher. Saw your notice. Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Luis Herrera's Tales and Fables. Luckier than a green bleeding leprechaun I am. See, not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne, the cursed lady of legend. But you, you could lift the curse. Why is there an axe with blood in the tree? Uh, aren't you a little too old? Tree's a cursed girl, what makes you say so? So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. Okay. My jaw dropped in the dirt, but right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tale of Daphne, Gareth, and the Witch of Lynx Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's Tales and Fables. You porking bet. Second edition. I meant it in octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover. Colophon included. Okay, why are you so fond of fairy tales? Got me curious, gotta admit. You really think the old tales are true? Taking the weepy, are you? Do you think me bore me? Weepy. No, it's just these are dark, grim times. No room for knights pure of heart or happily ever afters. So I don't often run into folk like you. Yes, true, the times are crowd pie. But I see this as all the more reason to remember the tales. My Why are you using weird say, words? If you know not what to do, think to the chessboard knight and noble Alondra and the path they would choose. She schooled me so thorough in it, I could not do otherwise, even if I wished to. Okay. So, uh, let me examine the tree then for a bit. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now. Because at the very least, he's correct in the fact that there's blood coming out of it. So let's... Oh. So I hear sobs in the rustling leaves. Yeah, indeed. Okay. And then I suppose that axe must have really hurt. It actually does bleed. Looks like human blood too. And the bark resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic at work here. Uh, okay. This is more than a bit... Yeah, stop, stop the witcher senses. Jesus Christ, because that's making everything worse. Uh, there's a spot of blood, blood here as well. Seeped from the direction of the tree, judging by the shape of the stain. Okay, anything else I need to know aside from the creepy, creepy noise? 
Okay, doesn't seem like there's anything else. Oh, wait, there's something over there. There's something over there. What's this? Logger was making good time. Strange, though. Willow's isolated. No other trees near it. Okay, talk to Jacob again. What is Geralt's conclusion here? And did you look at the tree close? Mm -hmm. We did, it actually. Very does close. Bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks wondrous. Did I not say so? Um, let's talk about my reward. My help indeed. doesn't come free, you know. You speak to a lowly woodcutter. No stench of coin about me. Okay, then I think I'm just gonna go for 110, because I don't Agreed. really... Yeah. I will pay as soon as the young mate is free. Okay, sounds fair. Um, let's look into it. Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss you Daphne know it all? and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome laugh for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why. Oh, fecking, fecking, take it easy. When Gareth returns, kerchief in hand, that is the power of love, the power of longing. So you must scale Link's Craig. Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. And good luck, Witcher. Thank you. Two experience points for getting a book. Good. Okay, go to Link's Craig. So I'll, I'm supposing I'll see you guys in a second over there. So we're at the foot of Link's Crag, and there's a panther here already, which is kind of weird. But they apparently are not hostile. So let's climb higher and see where we end up. Because is there really a witch up this mountain entrance? Entrance to what? Entrance to what? Don't see an entrance. Seems to be a cave below here. Not really where we need to be. Just need to climb higher and higher. Seems to be a lot of birds on the top of a this. Hut. Okay. A witch's. a witch's hut. Okay, let's search the hut then, apparently. Then we just need to knock first. Okay, hut never looks mind. Inhabited. No sign of the dweller though. Guess I'll look around. Okay, remarks on the proper administration of yarrow. Notes on the use of yarrow stems. Interesting. Yarrow is first and foremost used for medicinal purposes. As mentioned above, when the leaves of this herb are placed against the flesh, they heal all kinds of trauma, wounds and sores. Brew it and the resulting tincture treats the common cold, colic and loss of appetite. Yet in addition to their healing properties, the branches of the yarrow plant can be used for fortune telling. This method of divination might seem strange upon first glance, but is in truth simple and effective. It truly allows one to focus on the query at hand and gain an answer both accurate and satisfying. Okay, uh, there's a lot of literature around here. Uh, ooh, thank you for that. There's more stuff around here Warm. and a pot. Smells inconclusive. No idea what ingredients are in there. Okay, that sounds bad. Uh, what's this all about? On the transmutation of bodies. Anything of interest? The transmutation of bodies is one of the most difficult tasks any mage can undertake. Indeed, only the true masters of the art have ever accomplished it, and even they have only perfected one of its forms. This difficulty arises from psychophysical limitations, since a mage can only safely transform into an animal with which he is perfectly attuned. A famous example is that of Ulf Blackbeard, who dwelt for years in a cave with a bear in order to imbibe the life essence of that animal. So trying to transform into an animal, it seems. So is that panther down at the base of the mountain the witch, then? Liber Ivonis. Liber Ivonis. Conclave of mages banned this tome. 
I then came to a place known as the Pnath Valley, in a world known as Shagai. The mind of a man cannot comprehend this land, where non-geometric space and blasphemous colors fly in the face of everything our eyes are accustomed to. In that instant, in the moment of my arrival, I teetered on the verge of madness. I shouted a noiseless cry and sweated bloody sweat when two suns rose above my head. I fell to my knees and prayed to Sotakwa, not for salvation, but for a quick death. And then, day came. Okay... And we have... A pot? What is this? Ground into dust. Okay, bone dust. Stuff like this, grey armor die. Okay. Fiend's eye, that's interesting. And there seems to be... Warm wood. Sulfur, wart. Scents fresh. Can we follow that then? What's this? There's a rug on the wall. Mm. Could use one here as well. Mm. Oh. A wall of spell enhancements or trophies. Okay. Examine the arrow. Arrow, broken in half. No doubt to bring bad luck to the archer. The branch? Branch of a grapevine. Could be to ensure a good harvest or a bad one. And of course the kerchief looks like the one we need because it's marked DJ, so that's probably Daphne and maybe G, meaning Gareth. Hmm, interesting. Dawn looks like an accessory for casting curses. And now we have the kerchief. Yeah, that's the interesting so thing, isn't it? Monogram DF. DF. Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft, yet it seems I have a guest from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Hi. Um. And there's the panther pro- yeah. Hello, or lion, whatever. Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? Of course we do. What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? Even I, the witch of Link's Crag, would be hard-pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. Okay. Um, what happened to Sir Gareth the knight? The lady's knight. You ever make it here? Sir Gareth? Yes. He came to sway me but had a quick change of heart. To be precise, it came after the first night we spent together. He stayed mm. a fair while. Then his conscience got the better of him, and he resolved to return to his beloved. Might have resolved to, but never made it. A tragic fate befell him along the way. You have anything to do with this turn of fate? Of course. Was I to let another woman have a man who belonged to me? <laughs> I could not. Oh, he's the lion. Or did he just die? That could be the case as well. I can lift the curse myself, or I can force her to. I don't want to force a woman who's clearly adept in transforming men into beasts. Um, I can lift the curse myself. I'll handle the curse myself, without your help. Go right ahead. I wish you luck. Letting Thank you, you just like that? I could not have devised a better ending for this little tale. Our visit is done. Adieu. For never shall we meet again. Okay. Goodbye, witch. And your magic door. Okay. Let's return to the bleeding tree then, I suppose. Do we have enough with the kerchief? I'm wondering if that is the case. Otherwise, I'm just going to head down. So see you guys back down there in a minute. So, we're back in the Lumberjacks camp, right here next to the tree again. Um, why do I suddenly need to talk to Jacob instead of checking out the tree? Let's see. So, you met the witch, you must have. What did you learn? Um, witch isn't near as bad as you told her. Yeah, witch, she's not near as bad as folks say. Made me bow and scrape, sure. 
but I know some sorceresses witchier than her. Joyous, bleeding news, but what about Daphne? Um, I think we know a way to lift the Daphne's curse. Daphne's kerchief. We'll use it to lift the curse, but we gotta start at the right time. When the hour comes, I'll light four fires for the four winds, then begin the ritual. Fires? Then I shall be of use to you after all. Seems you need wood. Much of it. Chop as much as you can. I'll see to the rest. Okay, to work. A I few hours later. The wood. What now? My well, turn. Light the fires. Gotta light in. fires and talk to the woman enchanted in the tree. No idea how this will turn out. So just in case, stand at a distance. She might be dead already because of the sword, axe in her face. Run. Okay, so four, ooh, bonfires, woohoo, Arte, yeah, those are pretty big. Look your last to the world's four winds, from the south, not a word. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. From the those east, are actually pretty no cool. cry is heard, from the north, silent sighs. From the west, pure hollow eyes. Cease your vigil. Dead he lies. Okay, now what? Now we need to talk to the tree. This sounds like PT all over again. It's not perfect, Geralt. Hear me, you who hide beneath this bark. Recall today who you really are. Behold a kerchief, proof of your love for another. Are we gonna burn that? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Green green fire. Okay, that seems like a wraith. That looks like the effect a wraith has. I don't think she's gonna be friendly. Run! Yep, indeed, run! I still have Spectre Oil equipped. Damn it, got it wrong. Run! Got it wrong? How did we get it wrong? Did we actually free this woman? Probably if we uh, force the witch to help us. Took care of Daphne's ghost. Fucking fairy flaps! What the demon happened there? My fault. Went about lifting the curse the wrong way. More like tore than freed her from her prison. Shock was too much. Released all the rage and pain that was in her. Blimey, man. I suppose that's what I get for hiring a bungler. At least the lady's pain is done. She'll suffer no more in the tree. Now take your coin and go. Okay, so we apparently could do that differently. Might actually try that later on to do that differently. But hey, that's A Knight's Tales. And uh, that's it for this episode. I think we made a pretty nice episode. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.